Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. And great to hear that you are fine, too. How was your day today? Very good. Okay, great, great. So now you're ready, right? Ready to start with this class. <laughs> yes. Okay, good, good. Welcome, Rita. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We're going to start the class and the first activity for 8 p.m. is to take the attendance, okay? So I'm going to start even though some students are still connecting, but I, I think we're going to start now, okay? There we go. Remember to stay present and turn on your video cam, okay? Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Okay. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Edward Ademi, uh, perdón, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Not yet. Okay. Uh, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Not yet. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present teacher. Okay. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. I think Rosa is there, right? Isn't she? Yes, teacher. Okay, there you are. Thank you, Rosa. Okay. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Perfect, teacher. Okay. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Not yet, okay. William Isaac Montoya Avila. Present teacher. Okay, good. Very good. Here we are. Anyone didn't I mention? Okay. How are you guys? How was your day today? Can someone tell me about your activities from today at work? Very, very much <laughs> activities. A lot, a lot of activities. I love, I love activities uh, um, in the world, my okay. company. Okay, okay. So I think you were tired today. <laughs> well, Yes, yes. Okay. 
And how do you feel, Rosa? How do you feel? Yesterday you were not so good, not so well. Um, how are you today? Um, how do you feel? feel? And died. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, everybody ready? Did you do your homework? Yes, teacher. Look, we did yes. all homework. <laughs> yes, teacher. You've got to say yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to start today with that exactly with the sentences that we um needed to complete in activity five and page 22 in your manuals okay let's go to our manuals i'm going to share the screen with you for you to see the activity and let's remember let's do a reminder here okay how to use polite expressions or how to ask or give information in a polite way using can and could. Remember that we use these a lot when we go to a company or a store and you want to buy a product. So you want to be treated kindly you want to be treated politely okay so let's see this box in our manuals and let's read the sentences again so let's uh, let's start with the first box in your left can okay i'm going to read them and then you are going to repeat after me I can give you my personal information. She can't pay right. for the washer right now. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items you need? Yeah. Okay, now activate your audio, please, and repeat after me. I can give you my personal information. I can give you my, I can I can give give you my personal, personal information. information. Okay, remember the intonation here is not as a question because this is not a question, okay? I can give you my personal information, okay? I can give you my personal information. Great, Rosa. Okay, Walter, Sandra, Rita. Yeah. I can give you my personal information. Okay, good. Carlos, go ahead. Silvia, please, William. I can give you my personal information. Okay. I can give I can you my give... personal information. Okay. I can give you my personal information. Great. I can give you my personal information. Excellent. I can you I uh -huh. can I can give you my personal information. Okay, I'm going to say it again and you repeat after me. Everyone, please, at the same time, please activate your audio and let's say this sentence. I can give you my personal information. I can give you my personal information. Okay, next one. She can't pay for the washer right now. She can't pay for the washer right now. Okay, let's See the pronunciation of can't, can't, okay? Can't, can't, uh-huh. Usually, usually we can link, yes, usually we can link this sound like can't, okay, can't, to make the difference because here we say can, so we can say she can't pay, she can't pay, right? But we are saying cannot, remember that uh, over there, we are saying this because it's a contraction. Remember that, okay? Okay. Then, then. You don't have the equal equals can't okay this is a contraction 
This is a contraction. Okay, so let's try to do it correctly. She can't pay for the washer right now. Everybody, please repeat after me. She can't pay for the washer right now. Okay, can I have your credit card number? Can I have your credit card number? Remember, this is a question. We have to give the intonation. We have to intonate like a question. Can I have your credit card number? Can I have your credit card number? Good. Next one. Can you tell me how many items you need? Can you tell me how many items you need? Can you tell me how many items you need? Can you tell me how many items you need? Okay. Now let's go to the other box and let's see the use of could. Let's remember the pronunciation. Okay. Could. We uh, don't uh, pronounce the letter L, okay? We just say like this, okay? Could, could, okay? Let's say the number one. I say it and you repeat after me. You could try it with another credit card. <laughs> You could Okay, you could try with another credit card. You could try with another credit card. Okay, next one. In the next one, we have this. Could not, okay? Could not, this is the negative way, okay? The possibility is um, is not, okay, it's not possible. Okay, so I'm going to give you like this, okay? And it's the same. Okay, this is the contraction. Now, let's see the pronunciation for negative is couldn't. 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 Correct. Couldn't. Let's say this, uh, this sentence. I'm going to read it and then you repeat after me. They couldn't give you my billing address. They, they couldn't give you my billing address. They couldn't give you my billing address. Okay, let's see next one. Could you spell your last name? Okay, let's remember that when we have a word that starts with letter S, like spell here, okay? We don't say a spell, okay? A spell, no. S only with the S, spell. So we link this down and we say, could you spell, could you spell, could you spell your last name? Okay. Good. Is link linking the sound. Okay, you spell. Okay, could you spell? Could you spell? Could you spell your last name? Okay, great. So let good. Let's read. The last one, and you repeat after me, okay? I'm going to read it, and you repeat. Could we check the details of my order? 
Could we check the details of my order? Anda compra crema de queso. Could we check the details of my order? Okay. There you are. So now the activity is that we have to complete using some questions from your own, okay? You are going to give me the examples that we can write down here and also an answer, okay? So let's try with number one. Uh, who, wa who wants to give me number one? Can you? Uh, me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh... Uh, can you finish your report? Can you give me? Can you finish your report? Your? Report. Uh, you finish? Like this? Uh, can you uh -huh. finish your report? Do you think you can write it down for us, please? Can you type it? Can you get into and type it, please? I'm going to erase mine because I, I can't hear you well, okay? So you may, may type it. Could you type it? Okay, you know what? We're going to change the mechanic here. We're going to change the strategy to answer these or to complete this activity. We're going to use the chat, okay? We are going to use the chat. Let's go to the chat. And you are going to give me, I'm going to leave this, okay? There you go. And please, on the chat, you type questions using can you and could you, okay? Let's see, let's start. Let's start on the chat, go to the chat. Good, Sandra. Could you go with me? Could you go with me? Excellent. Can you add two ah, pencils in my purchase order, please? Good, good. That's a good question. Remember to use the plural because you are saying two. Two pencils, right? Excellent. Let's see, Rita. Can you show me another dress? Good. Remember the question mark, okay? Because it's a question. Excellent. Excellent, Sylvia. Could you send me the complete information to my email? Excellent. Next one, it says, can you read a book in one week? Oh, that's a good question. Can you finish the report, please? Oh, that's what you were saying, Walter. Good. Excellent. 
Uh, Francisco, can you give me your last name, please? Excellent. Could she, uh, could she return mm -hmm. later? Who is? Let's... Let's see who is sharing the screen. Will, um, Wilfredo, you are sharing your screen. Okay. I know can <laughs> I know can read. <laughs> Can't you read, Rosa? Uh, I know can read. <laughs> you can't. Okay. You may go to the options at the bottom, at the bottom of the screen, at the bottom of the screen, and it says chat. Uh -huh. Look for the option. Right next to compartir, you have chat option. Excellent, Carlos Ernesto. Could you give me, no, could you give my note? Could you, mm, could you, my note? Oh, could you give me? Okay. Could you give me my note? Okay. I think you are asking for some annotation. I mean, for a message or something. If you are trying to ask for your grade or you've got to use these words, score or grade, okay? Instead of note. Okay, Carlos Ernesto? Note is like a message. Or, uh, no. uh, teacher, I'm sorry, my internet is not good. Okay, one, and one I, moment. And... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Give me just one second because my computer is flashing. One, one second, please. Sarita. Hello. Hello. Oh, I apologize. I'm so sorry. Uh, my computer went down, so I don't know what exactly happened, but I'm back. Are you okay here? Is everybody there? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, I can. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. I can see you, but I can't. I think you can't see me, right? Let's see. Something's happening with this thing. I have my... Well, here it says that my, my video is on, okay? But I can see my image. I can see the image. One moment. Going to change from here. Okay.
I think my video is back. Is back. There we are. I'm sorry. Something happened, something went wrong, so I'm sorry. So now let's continue. Let's continue with the questions that we were on the chat. On the chat, we were writing some questions using pol a polite way, okay? Using a polite way. And let's see, Rosa sent a... Uh, Can you do it? Is, uh -huh. I think... Mm, can you? Okay. No. Yes, no. Rosa, it's okay. Can, can so you, you... Can you help me with information about your company? Excellent. Can you help me? With, with... information about your company. Good. Like this, right? Can you help me with information about your company? Okay, okay. good. Good. Elvia, did you send one? Did you write your question? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you... Okay, excellent. Could you tell me the price of that television? Good. Excellent. Excellent. So this is a polite way to ask or to request information or and also giving information in a polite way. This is the correct manner. Okay. So let's... let's I'm going to share, let's see in your manuals, we have this part where it says complete the questions with can and could, then ask a partner and write the answers, okay? What are we going to do now? We are going to go to work in the rooms and you ask, uh, did you write the questions from the chat? Do you have them uh, handy? Did you write them? Si ¿Sí tomaron nota de todas las del chat? Mm. No, teacher. Uh, solo una pregunta. Cuando yo, cuando me quedé desconectada, eh, Ustedes siguen viendo el completo el chat, porque a no. mí obviamente me lo cortó, me quitó todo, todo lo que habíamos escrito. Yes, teacher. Uh, no lo se veía. Yes, teacher. ¿Ustedes sí lo tienen? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. Muy bien. Entonces, ahí ustedes pueden ir tomando nota de las preguntas que ustedes mismos elaboraron. ¿Ok? Y las colocan acá, en estas, en estas, mmm, en estos espacios. Ahora, I'm going to break out on rooms and you are going to work in groups, giving an answer for every question that you asked, ¿ok? Given an answer of every question. For example, if Rosa was saying, can you help me with information about your company? Okay, then I can answer. Uh, yes, my, my the company name is, let's use the last one, True Tapes Incorporated. And we are located in San Salvador. Okay, we sell oranges and we sell grapes, we sell, okay? I am giving information. So that's what you are going to do right now. You are going to ask the question and provide to your classmate with an answer, okay? There we go. Is it okay? Okay. Okay. Remember that in your chat, you have your the questions. Uh, oh. Oh. There we go. My company.
There you are. O del manual, o cuáles? Del manual, pero. Hello. Hello Hi. Teacher. Hi. Hey. Okay, the questions that you are going to use are on the chat, those that you wrote, okay? Those that you type. Teacher, sure. uh, mm -hmm. for example, uh, uh, do you send an uh, email to our supervisor for the room? Again, again. Could you? Could you send an email to our supervisor for the meeting afternoon? Okay, that's good. That, that's a good question. That's a good question. So what will be the answer, Angeli, for that question? Wow. I'm sorry, I cannot pay attention. I'm not oh. paying attention. <laughs> okay, repeat, Francisco. Could you please send, uh-huh. Uh, could you send an uh, email to our supervisor for the meeting afternoon? For the mirroring this afternoon. The meeting this afternoon. Okay. What what could be an answer for that question, Angeli? Um, dijo meeting afternoon. Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay. The favor that Francisco is asking you to do is to send an email, right? So if he is asking, could you please send an email to our supervisor? What will be the answer? Oh, uh, yes, I can send the email to supervisor. Okay, good. Yes, I could, right? But in this case, you can use also, sure, no problem, okay? Sure, okay. no problem. That will be a good answer too. Okay? okay, because it's like asking a favor, a kind of a favor, right? Or giving you an instruction in a polite way, correct? Okay. There you uh, go. Maybe, now, uh -huh. uh, maybe the answer, uh, sure. Uh, uh, you can give me the over address email oh, oh good oh good meeting over oh, oh, sure uh, you can you can give me uh -huh. the meeting hours oh that's good that's good or can you tell me what time is the meeting okay can you tell me what time is the meeting? That will be a good question too. Excellent, Francisco. Now, Angeli, a question, please. 
Eh, on the chat, en el chat recuerden que ahí ustedes escribieron una serie de preguntas. So, uh, utilizamoslas. Let's use them. Ok, my question is, ay, ya no me parece. Uh, can you give me more information about this product? Uh, sure. Uh, 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 The function, the price, the warranty, the the size. Imagine the product could be a computer okay, or computer. Okay. or cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, Sure. Uh, the capacity storage for the computer is. Uh, how do you say ter tera? Terabytes in English, teacher. Like that, tera, tera. Mm -hmm. tera. Yeah, okay. terabyte. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can uh, all. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> 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 like a thousand gigas, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's possible. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, sure. The uh, storage capacity from this computer is uh, two tera. Uh, this RAM memory is for four for gigas. Uh, um, How about the RAM? Uh, what about the RAM? The, the RAM memory is uh, uh, four, four gigas. Okay, uh, good. Um, and the price? The, the price. Uh, okay, if, you, if we ask the price, can you tell me the price, please? Okay. Can in, a polite, me? in a polite way, right? Can you <laughs> tell me the price? Can you tell me the price, please? Sure. Uh, the price uh, uh, is a thousand fifteen. A thousand and eight, eight, no, uh, eight hundred. <laughs> okay, a, eight a, a thousand and eight hundred <laughs> or eight hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's kind of expensive. No, it's it's good. It's good. Uh, it depends on the the trademark. Okay, it depends. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's then a, um, mm, you can amigo. answer. You can answer. Okay, it cost. Okay, it cost eight hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Uh, it cost is eight. Hundred sixty dollars. Okay, good, good. Teacher, uh, yes, how do me? you say uh, con gusto? Digamos, si por ejemplo nosotros tenemos la costumbre de si nos preguntan algo y si es una respuesta amable con gusto, te ayudo. No sé cómo se podría. Okay, decir I'm eso. happy to help you with that. I'm happy will help you with that. I'm happy with help you with that. Help you with. With I'm us. happy with help you with that. With that. Um, mm -hmm. Happy to help you with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yesterday yeah. um, I didn't connect with the class and oh, I yeah. don't know what is the difference when can and could. Okay, can is a very polite way to ask, but could is a more polite way 
to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the grade of polite can more polite could. Okay. Could. Mm -hmm. oh, but is the same significant? Yes. Yes. But can is more direct. Okay, it's a more direct question. And could is like a possibility uh, giving the, the option to say yes or no, okay? Oh, okay. Correct. Okay, Thanks. guys, I'm going to leave you. Please continue with the questions that you have on the chat and I will leave you. I'm going to another group, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, continue, please. Bye. Okay. Um, can you send me the complete information to my office? Yes, I can. Um, repeat, please. Um, can you send me send me the information to my office? Like send. Can you send me the information to my office? Like in the yes, I, uh -huh, yes, I can. I'm going mm -hmm. to send you the report this evening in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, and could you what could could you go with me? Um, in the party in the night. Oh, yes. <laughs> <Can't wait. laughs> nice. Yes. Yes. May I go? May I go too? May I go to Yes, teacher. Let's go. <laughs> tomorrow. Let's go to it. party tonight. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, sometimes, and the usual answer here, for example, if, some, if someone asks you, could you go with me? Oh, sure, no problem, okay? Sure, no problem is a very good answer too, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not necessary that you are going to say, oh, yes, I could, okay? No, we are going to use another kind of expressions, more uh, warm, okay? And affirming that you are going to do it, but please doing it, okay? Like um, that you are happy to do that with that person, okay? Because the person is telling you that or asking you as a possibility and you are allowed to say yes or no okay so if you say sure no problem it means that it doesn't bother you okay no les molesta right so sure no problem mm -hmm. that's a very good answer correct okay, okay. continue continue and okay. tell me what time we are having the party, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. After the class. Ah, after the class. Okay. <laughs> okay, good, good. I'm going to leave the room and continue, please. Okay.
Hello. Hello. I was giving the whole instruction and use it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You. Yeah. No, don't worry. I <laughs> but guess when... uh, you're talking with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank Good God morning. that Carlos Ernesto could uh, reconnect. Oh, well, yeah, Carlos Ernesto, thank God you're back. So now we, do you have any question about this activity? Yes, I have some question for you, teacher. Tell me. I have a, um, I don't be sure. Okay, when tell me. I ask you using coal. If, for example, I, I tell you, uh, teacher, could you help me please to finish this report? Uh huh. What about the answer? Okay, the, the answer, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be uh, closed or ended or, yeah, closed ended. It has to be open okay like sure no problem ah, okay. i'm happy to help you with that but also you can say oh yes i could okay yes i could no problem okay ah, okay yes i could like, or like for a... example if i cannot if i cannot helping you then i'm going to say oh i'm sorry i couldn't do it i couldn't okay i couldn't okay. yes um, it's like uh, to use can Yes, I can. No, I can. Yes, it's the same. Ah, okay. It is the same use. Correct. Yeah. Grammarly is the same. But okay. I was telling to, to a group that it's better if you use warmer um, answers like, sure, no problem. It's okay. I am happy to help you with that. Okay. Then you can okay. use these expressions. And it sounds okay. more natural. It sounds more natural. Like, sure, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Any other question? No, it is okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Wilfredo. Let's see. Anyone else? No, teacher. Okay. So. Oh, someone say me, teacher? No? Okay. Let's go to the next thing we want to see today. Okay? We were saying that can is a polite way to request information. And could is a little more polite. Okay? Can is polite could is more polite, but there are other auxiliaries that uh, allow us to do it more polite than could, okay? And also they have some specific meanings like a permission or like you are allowing someone doing something, okay? For example, here we have this war, may, May. And we have another word that it is very important to be polite, okay, to, to express our information in a polite manner, then we use might. Let's say this, may and might. May and might. May. Now let's see how do we use this. May is this one, and might, 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 correct, might, might, might. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So these two words means possibility or a probability, and also means permission. Permission is more in this word. May is to give a permission or to allow someone to do something or to have to get something. So let's see the sentences, uh, the examples that we have here. It looks like 
we might made a mistake. Uh -huh. It looks like we might made a mistake. What idea do you think this sentence is giving? Do you understand what it means? It looks like we might made a mistake. This is a, like a possibility or probability. Exactly. Yes. Probably, probably I was the one who made a mistake, but I'm not taking, I'm not guilt, guilty, okay? I'm not guilty. I am free from the responsibility of that mistake, right? It's a probability that I made a mistake, correct? Good, let's read it again. It looks like we might made a mistake. Now, can you repeat this sentence after me, please? It looks like we might made a mistake. It looks like we might make a mistake. mistake. Okay, good. Now, let's read this other one. I'm going to move this thing here. Now, let's see. This might be the most difficult decision she should ever she would ever make. Okay? This might be the this most might be. Excellent. This might, might be, be the be most more, difficult decision she would ever make. Ever make. Ever make. Ever make. Ever make. Uh-huh. Can you give me an idea what this sentence is saying? This might be the most difficult decision she would ever make. This person. A decision difficult to take. Yes, but probably is the most difficult decision. Probably. Okay. Maybe she could have another one decision to make and it was not so easy either. So let's see next one. You might be asking, then what? You might be asking, then what? For example, when I got disconnected, you might be asking, then what? Okay, the teacher got disconnected. Then what? Okay, you might be asking. Wrong. <laughs> then what? <laughs> ah, wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> okay, you were. Yes, yeah, she got the disconnect. <laughs> we're going. We're going to bed early. <laughs> okay, you might be asking. Then what? Correct? Now, please repeat after me. You might be asking, then what? You might, you might, be, might be asking, asking what? 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 Correct. Now, let's see this other. They suggest other products a customer might be interested in. They use other they products that a customer may might be interested in. It might be interested Interested in. Okay. The customer arrives to the store and see a product and he says, well, it's not the one exactly that I want. Then um, the, the worker from the store is going to say, oh, look, we have these other diverse products okay and they suggest this is if the customer might be interested in okay for example a compliment also for example i go to buy my cell phone and i need the the headset or the earphones okay then the customer suggests i'm sorry the clerk suggests uh some other products that i might be interested in Okay, I might be. It's not that I am interested. 
It's a probability that I can make this selling, okay? Yes. So let's continue. Um, I'm going to skip this one and let's see this one. It might make the difference. It might make the difference. Okay. It might make the difference. It might make the difference. It might make the difference. Okay. What it might make the difference? Okay. What thing can make the difference between you buy something or you don't buy something? What uh, things do you think? that might make the difference. For example, if you go to buy two bracelets, okay, let's see bracelets here. Okay, you are going to buy this bracelet, okay? And then you see another bracelet, or maybe you see a necklace, okay? And then you see a necklace. Let's imagine what might make the difference between buying this or this? For example, the price, do you think so? Price. Okay, the price, good. The, price. the quality, good. The also. The also. So Dimensions. It, okay, good, good. So the price might make the difference, okay? The price might make the difference, correct? or the quality might make the difference, correct? There you go. If you see might and may doesn't change, they don't change, they don't change. It's the same for she, is the same for he, is the same form for plural, for singular, okay? It, uh, may doesn't change. Might doesn't change, okay? Now, let's see this other one. It may take a few minutes. It may take a few minutes. What idea do you think that sentence is giving? It's like a... For unos minutos. Aha. Possibility. Okay, it's a possibility. Or probability okay. too. Might it's a possibility a that if you probability. okay if you want to buy fresh Ready. chicken then it may take a few minutes okay it may take a if you go to let's say the trademark don pollo okay it may take a few minutes you've got to wait okay it's a possibility you may have your uh chicken breast but it may take a few minutes, correct? There you go. Now, what idea do you see in this other question? May I have a seat? May I have a seat? It's a permission, teacher. Good, that's permission, permission. Do you remember when you were in um, the um, classes in your, in your classroom? Do you remember that in English classes we use, may I go to the bathroom, teacher? Okay. May I come in, teacher? Yes, may I come in, teacher? Okay, permission, permission. Uh, and uh, let's read the last one. You may go home. You may go home. You may go home. Yes. Do you think that's permission or probability or possibility? Possibility. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Okay. That also it could be a permission if you are asking, may I go home now? Okay. If you want to leave early from your job, you can say, Oh, my dear boss, may I go home? Oh, yes, you may go home. Okay. That's like a permission, right? There you go. Okay, these are very polite expressions using may and might. Remember that. So, have you ever had any problem with a, a product that you bought? Have you ever had a problem? Yes. 
What kind of problems do you think are common with products? Problems. Let's think about problems with products. Problems. When the quality, when the quality is not the, the required by the customer. Okay, I'm going yeah. to write in the chat right now, and it is poor quality. Okay, yeah. poor quality. Uh, I wrote only for Carlos, I'm sorry. There we go. Poor quality. There you go. So, open the chat for you to see it there. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Poor quality. What other um, problem do you think that you can have buying a product? With the price at the moment I pay it. Okay, like the wrong price, right? Wrong mm -hmm. price. Uh-huh. Wrong price. Maybe the label said that you had to pay with a discount and when you go to the um, uh, cashier he says um, look it doesn't have a discount ah, wrong price that's a problem okay but the label said that mm, there was a 50% of discount right so it's a problem it's a problem another another problem that you can think of when you buy a product when you receive or, another another sin teacher that but you you buy you you pay okay receive example, if, a wrong product let's see is that correct yeah okay let's imagine that you asked for or you ordered a pepper and a pizza and they sent you a ham pizza Okay, that's a wrong product. You received something that you didn't order. Okay, good. Another problem? When we buy online product teachers, uh -huh. um, we, we probably will criticize and if, for example, if a t-shirt, the t-shirt is very small, then mm -hmm. the, the product the says, the size, the size. Okay, let's say size is not correct. Let's say that because uh, I've got the problem with the letter C again. So let's think that the size is not correct. Okay, or it doesn't, or it is not as it shows in the catalog, right? Mm hmm. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. What do you think it could be the, another? The spirit, spirit, the off product, of the product. The expiration date? The spirit. Like this? Of the product. Okay, good. Expiration date. Good. Thank you very much, Carlos Antonio, for writing correctly. Size, size is not correct. Good. Expiration date. Maybe you received something that it's ruined and it doesn't. This I've been Yes, correct. Expirated. Mm -hmm. Expirated. Yes. Okay. Correct. So let's see another. Do you have another uh, problem? Maybe it doesn't work. For example, you bought a watch and it doesn't work. Okay. Or maybe it is broken. Okay. Maybe when you receive it, is it is broken. Then we could say, we could say mm, broken or damage product, correct? Broken or damaged product and product 
doesn't work. Teacher, uh, <clears throat> hmm? maybe the the color product is not correct. Okay, wrong color. Wrong color. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Wrong color. What other problem? We need uh, to identify this, okay? We need to identify this. Why? Because usually, usually, as a customer, we have to make a call back to the company to report this, right? And what do you usually ask for? What do you usually ask for if something of these things happen? Warranty. Yes, correct. Warranty. Uh-huh. And maybe your money back. Okay. Your money back. A refund, teacher. Excellent. That's the word that I am looking for. Refund. You may ask a refund or you may ask a replacing, okay? A refund or they to replace the product. But now let's see. What do you think? Or, um, yeah, how, how, how can you express here what do you feel when you have this kind of problem as a customer? What do you feel? How do you feel? Angry. <laughs> angry, right? We feel angry. 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 Very angry. Yes. Angry. angry. I'm going angry. to write it there. Usually you ask for warranty, you ask for refund, you ask for a replace of the product, and also you feel angry. Do you think a, um, a customer that receives the wrong product is satisfied? No. What do you think? No, not at all. Not at all, right? It's not satisfied. It's a very big problem. And what's the department in charge of solving these problems? What is the department in charge of solving these problems? What is the department in charge of... How do you say? Atención customer, service. Customer, customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service, yes. Poor customer people, service. Hmm? They have to be... Oh, if... yes. They have to be very patient. <laughs> Yes. Have you ever worked in customer service? Have you yeah. ever worked in no, customer no, 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 service? No. But I no? ask yes, for yes. help, but to them, it okay. Is terrible. Okay. Uh, Any one of you works in the customer service department of your company? No. 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 In the case, something like that. Uh, something like you have contact with the customer, communication with the customer. Yes, because I am a cashier. Oh, okay. Then you have uh, <laughs> you have yes. that contact. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen a, an angry customer? Have you ever managed an angry customer? Yes. <laughs> yes. And how do you feel as the cleric over there? How do you feel as a worker? Um. So in some case, uh, it's very uh, embarrassed. Oh, yes. Or, it's or, embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Or um, how do you say? No hay como calmarlo. Okay, you don't find a way to calm these people down. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's very difficult. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I worked in customer service for at least um, almost eight years, and I can tell it's very difficult. 
it's yes. very difficult but it's nice it's it's fun it's fun I loved it I loved it um I, I can't say that it was not a good experience it was a very if, excuse if, me if you yes at finally if you uh, can uh, help the the people you have you feel uh, the very I don't know a uh, please uh, Please. Yes. Okay. Complacida. Please. Pleased. Uh huh. Yes. And you feel satisfied. You feel satisfied that you did a good job. Okay. Solving the problem. Yes. That's, that's, uh, and, that's and the other best. way. Yes. In other way, it doesn't have any comparison. It's not, it's not that, um, it's not the same being in the office that, being in front of the customer. In front of the customer, yes. yes. it's not the same. Okay, yes. then let's continue here. Let's continue and let's go to our manuals. Because in our manuals, we have some examples, some examples of um, kind of problems there, okay? Okay, here it's page 23, page 23. Let's go there. Okay, it's 920, so I'm going to take the attendance and then we are going to that other part, okay? Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Um, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Edward Ademir, okay. Carl, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Okay. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Okay, I saw Fausto connected. Did you see Fausto? Is Fausto there? Internet, uh, but he teacher. was, right? He was connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, I saw him for some minutes. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia, you said present. And Carla Maria Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Okay, Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Sandrita, she was there, right? Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Okay, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Will, okay, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay, there we go. Well, then, what do we do? What do we do to know if a customer <clears throat> is satisfied or is unsatisfied or dissatisfied what do you think is the best thing to um or the best tool to to know to know the about the satisfaction of customers what do you think what do you think is the best way to know what the customer think about our product or our Teacher. service. Mm -hmm. And we usually send a satisfaction survey. Okay, correct, good. We usually use this strategy. This is a marketing strategy to know the opinion about our product from the customers, right? The direct from customers. So let's see here in this page, we have an example of the questions that we, mm, 
can have an a survey. Do you know what is a survey? Can you explain in your own words what is a survey? What is a survey? It's a list of questions that you send to the customer to range or to give you a feedback about a product. Okay, good, excellent. So now let's think, let's think the kind of questions we can ask. Let's remember, let's remember that we have to use a very polite um, language, okay? Let's see number one. Number one, can you read it please, Rosa? Number one. Uh, uh, read? Yes, the question. How, how satisfied are you these products? Okay, good. How satisfied are you with this product? How satisfied are you with this product? Are you with this product? And what did the customer answer? What did this customer mark? Dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. Okay. Number two. Can you please read it, uh, Maria Fernanda? Number two. Rate your opinion about the product quality. Okay, and what did the customer answer here? Very low quality. Very low quality. Okay, let's see number three. Walter, please, can you read it? Okay, Walter is having problems with the audio, maybe. Walter? Oh. Okay. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse no me. problem, no well, problem. I, Number three, okay. can you read it? Uh, the value of the product is? What uh, did the customer uh, answer? Poor. Poor. Okay, here they are not talking about price. They are talking about the value, okay? Number four. Will you, uh, let's see here, who wants to? Carlos Ernesto, please, can you read it? Number four. Will you continue using this product? Okay, what did the customer answer? No. Okay, let's see in the pair work, okay? These were, these questions about, are about the answers of this customer, okay? So everybody, please, I need opinions from you. How was the customer's experience? How was the customer's experience with the product? It was a uh, bad experience, teacher. Okay, bad experience. Why do you say that? Uh, in each for the different opinions okay. for the different answers for the different uh, question okay the answers give us the um, exact opinion of this customer and if you see he said that, that he is not satisfied he's dissatisfied with the product so i think he had a bad experience, right, with our product. Now, uh, number two, let's see, please, Edward, can you read number two? Is the product a good one or a bad one? Mm -hmm. What do you I think? think uh, I think product is bad one. Okay. This, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Tell me. 
eh, de translate eh, good o, good one uh -huh. y bad one eh, eh, what meaning in Spanish okay in this case um, how to to explain this uh, let's see for example I'm going to leave good and bad. And I'm going to say, for example, that I'm going to give you two options. Ah, let's see with this ones. Uh, let's see with the same example as before, okay? And I say, what do you want? This one or this one? Okay, if you see, I am using one at the end of this. Okay, this one or this one. It is referring to, uh, to the object or in this case, good and bad are abstract. But it doesn't mean that they are not things. Okay, good is thing, but is thing. It's a noun. Okay, so we use this or this, good one or bad one, okay? That is why we use one at the end, like giving the two options. If you give two options, then you say good one or bad one, correct? Uh, Got it? Uh, uh, the, the first two objects. Excuse me? Uh, the first two objects. Yes, it refers. Yes, yes, it, it refers to the object, but giving the options, giving the options. If you see three options, then you say this, this, or this, right? This one, or this one, or this one. Okay, and if I have two options, I have option good and option bad. Which one do you want? A good one or a bad one? Okay. Okay. That is okay, the thanks. concept. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we said that the product was a bad product. Okay. And also, and also uh, to complete the explanation about good one and bad one, it's for not repeating product. Okay. Para no repetir. Is the product a good product or a bad product? Then we say good one or bad one, okay? Number three, let's go to number three. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, why do you think it's a bad product? Why do you think it's a bad product? What answer gives you that, um, uh, uh, from the customer gives you that idea. The question two, rate your opinion about the product quality, uh, the quality of product, um, or the value of the product. Okay, good, good. Let's think about possible problems that the customer had with the product. Let's imagine and let's remember those that we were saying. My computer is flashing again. And I don't see any cause for doing that. Okay, it's back. Let's think about possible problems that this customer might have with this, with this product. The, the problem most common is the quality teacher. Okay, the quality, so maybe poor quality, okay? And then what else, poor quality? Maybe it doesn't work properly, okay? Look, properly. It doesn't work properly. It doesn't work properly. Mm -hmm. What else do you think that this customer could have? Mm 
maybe the price was too high. Okay. What else? <laughs> Let's think about problems with this kind of product. Let's imagine it's the the value is poor. They teacher. Mm -hmm. how, how do you say? Um, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. How do you say la marca? Tal vez no es muy reconocida o no sé. Okay, the trademark is not known okay it's not known hmm? maybe it's made in china <laughs> <laughs> okay we could we could say imitation right imitation right <laughs> for not saying mm. made in okay mm -hmm. uh, imitation or Indeed. or or the or the opposite not original okay no original parts good not original sure, parts uh, question mm -hmm. defective how do you say dañado damage damage De damage defective. excuse me rosa defective ah defective good yeah. I don't remember if defective uh, is spelled with double F or only with one F, like this, defective. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was damaged. It may be it was damaged. Maybe it was defective. Okay. So here we are using probabilities and possibilities right it might okay it might be of poor quality okay now we have a sentence okay let's use may we could use the complete expression maybe it doesn't work or in the past tense, it will be didn't. You got it? Maybe it didn't work properly. What do you think about the size? Can we make a sentence saying a problem with the size? Uh huh. Size. Oh, again, letter Z. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It doesn't. Okay. Size. My computer Wait. is defective. <laughs> Wakes. Uh huh. Ah, oh, the weight. It was to wait, right? It was to wait. Uh, heavy, let's say heavy. Remember that the weight could be heavy or light. Okay, it was too heavy. And the customer wanted lighter. Okay, needed lighter. The opposite of heavy is light. The opposite of heavy is light. So maybe the customer wanted this product less heavy. So lighter correct there you go so here we have the use of probabilities and possibilities what about the price the price might was too high might be let's say might be too high What about the trademark? 
the trademark possible, right? Possible. Mm -hmm. The trademark. Maybe. Okay, or may be. Maybe is, okay, maybe is, not known. There you go. Maybe it was an imitation, right? So it might be uh, imitation product. There you go. Can you make a sentence using not original parts, using probability? The idea of probability, may or might? It might. The product, uh-huh. It might be not original. Okay, might not be. Might not. Might not be original, good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Carlos. So maybe. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Mm, in this case, might don't have contraction. No. 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 In this case, mightn't. Doesn't exist. E actually, no. Actually, no. It doesn't sound good, but yes, it. There are some contractions but let me use it like this in this class and then we are going to see some other um uses uses for might and may tomorrow okay but at the moment let's see that we can use this as possibility and probability okay now let's think about what can this customer do with this bad product? What do you think this customer might do with this product? He's going to call customer service for sure. Okay, for sure he's going to call. What do you think um, he might do? Mm-hmm. And it takes us to, one second. It takes us to, oh, there you go. That he may ask for a refund, okay? He may ask for a refund with a bad product, it is. it was damaged, there was a problem with the functions, or then he's dissatisfied, then he may ask for a refund. There are companies, there are some companies that have a defined refund policy, okay? They have a refund policy. What is a refund policy? Do you have any idea? Refund policy. Uh -huh. no. No idea. Refund policy. Have you ever seen this? Um, this uh, term, refund policy. Yes, teacher. Uh-huh. What do you think it is? Maybe. Can you say in your own words, please? Yes, maybe we maybe to one that, sorry, maybe to buy a product and you return the product in fifteen years or fifteen days or or thirty thirty days. Okay, yeah. good. That's a rule. Okay, so in this case, we could say rules, rules 
to have your money back. Okay? Your money back. So, this company has to have a money back war warranty. And this takes us to another word, this, okay? In this case, if you see these words are similar, okay? It means that they are used as synonyms, warranty and guarantee. Warranty and guarantee. Okay, here we don't say warranty. Here we say guarantee. And here we say warranty. You are going to find both, both words, both words. And they are kind of synonyms. But this is like the promise, okay, the promise to um, have to get a refund. And they say for damage or for dissatisfaction or maybe for um, the maker failures, okay? Origin failures too. So yes, also, also it's included there. The promise to get a refund. That's the money back guarantee. This is the correct word here, okay? Money back guarantee. Money back guarantee. It takes us to a refund policy. It takes us to a refund policy. They give you a rule. They give you a rule. If you don't, uh, if you don't, report this to customer service within three days after the purchase, then we are not um, responsible for any damage and for any repairing, okay? So let's go to the sentences that we have in the manual for understanding, okay? For understanding. Let's see, I may ask for a refund. I may ask for a refund, but this is a possibility. Or is this a um, probability? Or is this a permission? It's what a do you see? It's a permission because it's my. Okay. It's mm, but may means also, also possibility. Okay. So remember maybe, maybe together. It's a possibility too. Okay, so we can use may for a possibility too. It's more used for permission, but yes, we can use it for possibility. So let's read these sentences. I may ask for a refund. Next one, you may buy at a different store. You may buy at a different store. Next one, they may not provide a good service. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expert expectations. It may not reach your expectations. There we go. So we are going to activate our audio and let's repeat. I may ask for a refund. I may, I may ask, ask, for ask for a, a refund. refund. You may buy at a different store. You, you may, buy may buy a, a different, different store. store. Okay, let's link the sound. Ara, ara different. Yes. Ara okay. different. Ara different. Okay. Ara different. Good. You may buy at a different store. You may buy, you may buy at a different store. Good. They may not provide a good service. 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 It may not reach your expectations. 
It may not be not reach your expectations. Yes, it may not reach your expectations. It may not reach your expectations. Good expectations. It's kind of uh, difficult. Okay, let's see with might. Might. She might want a refund on those units. She might want a refund on those units. She might want a refund on those units. They might complain about the service. They might complain about the service. Okay, next one. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. He might not buy here again. He, he might, might not, not, buy not here, here again. Here again. Here again. What do you think about the customer who filled the survey before? What do you think about these sentences here? What do you think about this customer? What do you think he is going to do or he might do? Let's see. What do you think? He might not buy here again. That's what I think too. That's what I think too. He might not buy here again. He was dissatisfied and he got a very bad product and it was low quality. So I think he might not buy it here again. Okay, there we go. So now we have to create sentences using the words that they are giving us in the parentheses. They are giving us the subject and they are giving us the problem, okay? The problem. They, subject, and the problem. So let's create sentences using the words provided and may or might. Okay, provided using may or might in these words. Okay, then we want to write a compliment when you need it or when the question needs a compliment. Okay, L do you think it is possible to do it here together or do you want, no, exactly we have only... 10 minutes. So do you want to go to the breakout rooms? Or let's do it together, okay? Let's do it together here. Number one, number one, let's see, let's think. What do you think we can say about he? He is. He, he might not be satisfied. He Good. may be not satisfied. Mm -hmm. He may no. Okay. Good. Next one. The warranty may be longer, longer. Okay. Okay, next one. The service may not be excellent. The service mm -hmm. may not be excellent. Okay.
Next one, number four. You made. Mm -hmm. You may recommend. May or might? Might. 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 You might recommend. Let's add a compliment here. You might this recommend. Service, uh -huh. This service or the product. Again? The product. Okay, you might recommend the product. Okay. But what if, okay, that, that's good and that is correct. Okay, here I could, I could think about other products, okay? You might recommend other products, okay? That's a good one too. Um, but the the best the best word here it could be it might be it might be let's see another another and other okay you might recommend another product. I think that sounds better. It was not incorrect to say other, but I think it sounds better. Okay, next one. Number five. The waiter may be in a hurry. May or might? May. No, might. Might. I think it's it is might. I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Might because it's a probability. Okay. Pardon. It, uh, I'm sorry. It's um possibility. Might be in a hurry. There you go. Number six. Amanda. Might not use the cell phone, for example. Amanda Mick might not use, use mm -hmm. this cell phone. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Very good. Let's double check. Is it okay? Might and number one, he might not be satisfied. What do you think? Yes, it is correct, right? Number two. Okay, you know what? I, what we're gonna do? Um, let's see here. I'm going to. Take a picture of it and send it. We have five more minutes. One second. Oh, I lost them. I lost them. I tried, but it didn't work. I'm sorry, guys. 
I'm sorry. Okay, we completed that activity. So we are going to, <coughs> I'm sorry. We are going just to read this. This is for your information. Why is it important to ask good survey questions? Why is it important to ask good survey questions? This is the topic at the moment and it's a little reading, okay? It's just two paragraphs and let's read them, the both paragraphs, okay? I'm going to read them first. A good survey question is asked in a precise way at the right stage in the buyer's journey to give you solid data about your customer's needs and drives. Don't waste your time and resources using poorly worded questions. They have to figure as much of the real opinions, the most valuable information to direct correctly your marketing strategies. Okay, L let's see. What do you think it is important to ask good survey questions? Why do you think that it is important to ask good survey questions? Let's read again. A good survey question is asked in a precise way at the right stage in the buyer's journey to give you solid data about your customer's need and drives. Why do you think it is important to ask good survey questions? Is the way to teach it. Mm -hmm. Is the way to know the the, uh, the opinion of the customer and in the the company use the information to how do you say mejor uh, to improve to improve you know, the the mm -hmm. quality of products okay. Maybe. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Teacher. Uh -huh. A good survey question is important for all company because they can they can to make a good action plan to improve anything trouble that the customer tell in this uh, survey question. Okay, good. That's correct. Yes. And imagine you are doing a marketing investigation or a marketing survey. In this case, you will waste your resources. We are talking about money, the time of your workers uh, or your employees doing this investigation and or running a survey and if it doesn't gives uh it doesn't give us the right information in the right time then i think you are wasting it okay you are wasting this survey it's not worthy okay it's not worthy to do it if you don't do it in a correct way so that is why it is very important so let's see here some words for your vocabulary. Survey, poll, overview, marketing investigation. Again, survey, poll, poll, or overview, overview. Marketing investigation. Marketing investigation. Okay, these these are marketing strategies. Okay, to know the opinion of customers about a product or a service. Okay, or some services. 
In this case, can someone tell me why is it important to ask good survey questions? Rosa, what do you think? Um, I don't know, teacher. Okay, it is important. It is important for not wasting time and resources, okay? It is important also to know or to get solid data about your customer's needs and drives, correct? It is important oh. to ask good survey questions to get the most valuable, valuable information to direct correctly your marketing strategies, okay? If you see, we have like three or four answers here, correct? Information Let's precise information good precise. to get precise information good mm -hmm. okay guys i'm going to take the attendance for the last time and let's see angeli magali coronado diaz carlos antonio murillo hernandez present teacher okay carlos ernesto rogel present teacher Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present Leslie Fernández Ochoa. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay, guys. So I think class is dismissed. And today, who stays with me? Who stays with me? I had it written here. Elvia. Me. Elvia stays with me today. Do you, um, are you staying? Are you going to stay with me, Elvia? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Okay, guys, then class dismissed and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, you tomorrow. and okay, have a good night. Tomorrow, teacher. Have a good night. See you. Okay, okay, see you. Bye-bye. Have tomorrow. a great rest. Bye-bye. Good rest. Bye. Teacher. Yes, tell me, Elvia. Uh, we've got Carla. Just one second. There we go, Elvia. Here we are. Okay. Tell me, what am I useful for? How mm -hmm. can I help you? Uh, 
there is an order to use how much in the question. Okay, the order, the order grammarly you say. Mm -hmm. Okay, in this case, what you are gonna do when you ask a question, I'm going to share the, the, the screen here. And let me go to the board. Okay, you use how much? With things that you cannot count, you cannot count. For example, water, okay? Water is a noun that you cannot count, water, okay? It's a liquid and, okay. Then we say, how much water do you um, need? Maybe in your company, they need a lot of water for washing dishes, for example, right? Maybe it is a restaurant. So how much water do you need? And then they are going to give you an amount. I'm going to. They are going to give you an amount of water. What could be the amount? A lot of water. This is an idea of an amount or a little or some, some water, some water, okay? Here, they are not saying a quantity, right? Mm -hmm. They are saying an amount, but they are not saying a quantity, specific quantity. So how much give us an idea of an amount, okay, of an amount? But if you want to know specific, a and a specific quantity, then we ask, for example, let's say this is a gallon, let's say, okay? This is a quantifier too. Then we change that. We are gonna talk about the water, but we need to know about the water, but then we ask how many <laughs> gallons of water do you need? Okay. okay, do you see the difference here? Here we are asking for water in general, for mm -hmm. the liquid, the liquid, okay? And here we are asking for the containers of that water. And I think it's the best way to know a quantity of that liquid. So how much, how much is for? known count nouns, okay? Here, I'm gonna write it down. How much is for known count nouns? So tell me, do you know what is a known count noun? What is a known count noun? Nouns that you cannot count one, two, three, four, five, tell right? Mm-hmm. Exactly, no contable, algo que no se puede contabilizar. Por ejemplo, no podemos contabilizar un líquido, ¿verdad? No podemos contabilizar un líquido, pero sí podemos tener una idea si le ponemos unidades a ese líquido, ¿verdad? O contenedores a ese líquido. Ese líquido lo metemos en botellas, podemos contar las botellas pero no podemos contar el agua o no podemos contar el, um, decir una loción o la, el agüita de la loción. ¿verdad? So we cannot count that. Okay. Pero podemos contarlo en unidades. That is why we use how much. How much for those nouns that we cannot count. You got the idea now? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's think about... Um, let's say one, one, um, uncountable noun. Can you tell me uncountable nouns? Puede usted decirme, um, 
ejemplos de nombres que, de cosas que no podemos contar? Uh, hey. ¿El qué? Hey. Hair. Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. um, salt. Salt. Good. Uh -huh. Milk. Good. Uh -huh. Mm. Sand, arena. Sand, good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, now let's think, how can we ask or make a question about salt? For example, you are cooking, you are cooking and then you think, What is the amount that you need to the dish that you are cooking, okay? For the food that you are cooking. What do you think is the best question? How much? Sal? Mm -hmm. Do you need? Mm -hmm. Excellent. How much salt do you need? Correct, correct. That's good, Elvia. You see? Let's think that you are serving some cereal, okay? And you have to add milk. How do you ask the amount of milk that someone wants? Wants to oh. have. Mm -hmm. How much? Milk. Mm -hmm. And... Do I serve, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, just giving you a, a little help there. A little help. Okay, do I serve to you? There you go. Now, let's think about the sand. Mm -hmm. How do you make a question about the sand? Está difícil. <laughs> no, it is okay. How much? Okay, how, how much? much? Sand. Sand. Uh -huh. Is there at the beach? Okay. Oh. There is a lot. Infinity, <laughs> right? <laughs> Because we don't yes. have an amount. We don't have an amount. We cannot count it because it's, um, it's not countable mm -hmm. because we cannot count every grain, right? Every grain, every particle of sand. But also, we cannot count sand. So we use how much and the noun. How much and the noun. Okay. For okay. example, if you see here, how much salt and the complement, then yeah. how much milk and the complement, then how much sand, okay, the noun, and the complement. There you go. This is the way to use how much. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Is it okay there? Or do you need uh, to ask any other thing? Okay, teacher. Is it okay? Yes, Okay, fight the fear. <laughs> um, I don't want you to, um, to get confused. I want you to um, get clear, okay? Please clear all, all your doubts. So at the moment, clear. are we okay? Clear. Okay, great, great. So then I think we finish, Elvia. I think we finish. And 
Are you okay with the explanation? Yes. Or something else? Okay. El uso de have. 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 Okay. Have. have. Good, good, good. I'm going to share with you the, the class about obligations. Have to and has to is for obligations, okay? When you want to say something that it's an obligation in your job, okay, you use you have to. He has to. Okay, just let me get there. Has to is se usa para mm -hmm. tercera persona. Yes, correct. Third person. So let's see here. I'm going to show you first. Look, have to mm -hmm. is used to I, you, we, they. So have yes. to is used for I, you, we, and they. So let's do it together here. Let's do it together okay. or make this clear. Okay. You see that here we have some actions. So for example, in my job, I have to, and I'm going to use this activity, like call clients. Okay. I have to call clients. You see, this is an obligation. I have to call clients. So what about you, Elvia? Do you have to call clients? Do you have to call clients? Yes. Okay, I then have. you, I'm going to okay. say you have to call clients. Oh. Mm -hmm. So if you and me or you and I have to call clients, then we have to call clients, correct? Correct. Okay. Okay, then what do you think? They have to call clients? Maybe they don't, okay? So the negative thing or the negative part here is we, uh, they, let's use they for you to make clear that we use have okay. with they. They don't have to call clients. You see? Mm -hmm. This is yeah. affirmative and this is negative. But if you see, it is have to, have to, have to, and have to for I, you, you. We, we, we and think. they. Now let's go and see. Has to. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the other. Uh, let me. Doesn't allow me to do. It. Okay. Here we. Oh. One moment. Here we have this other. Okay, this other slide. And here you see, she has to. Let's say one activity. Let's use attend meetings, okay? We are gonna use attend meetings. So let me open this and the text. So she, she has, has to mm -hmm. attend a meeting. Okay. There you go. What about he? He has to attend a meeting. Excellent. Okay. Now let's think about it. Mm, it has to, to, let's say, it has to issue the invoices. Let's think about the it is a system, okay? Imaginémonos que it nos referimos a el sistema, ¿verdad? 
el sistema mm -hmm. de la computadora. So it has to issue invoices. ¿Qué es lo que se supone que hace ese sistema? Facturar. Okay, then it has to issue invoices. If you see, here we have has to. What about if that is not an obligation in their job? Ah, then we use the negative. She, aquí sí viene el detalle. La tercera persona utiliza doesn't. Pero ya no es has. Ya ahí ya no se pone has. Ahí se pone have to. ¿Ok? Esto es lo correcto para la tercera persona en negativo. She doesn't have to, let's say, attend a meeting. With the compliment. ¿Ok? What about he? He... Doesn't have mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. ten a meter. Okay. There you go. You see? Are we clear with this? Clear. All clear. Okay, then I think we finish with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. One second here. I'm going to leave this. Okay. Then everything okay, Elvia? Yes? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. I'm happy for that. Okay, then see you tomorrow in the class and uh, have a good rest. Gracias. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Elvia. <laughs>